Okay, guess what, my dudes? I got the parts. Uh, so this is my first longer video. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to thank you all for the support and for watching. So in today's video, we are going to be tuning my old FF01 chassis, which is this thing. Now I've indeed gotten my parts and also printed some. Uh, but first we need to disassemble the car, so I'm starting with the uh, front axle piece here and um, taking the motor out and then disassembling the entire thing. Yeah, my camera dropped right there. Uh, then, yeah, I, I took off the shocks we won't be needing those anymore and also most of the other parts because I cleaned the entire front part of the car as it was very dirty as you can see here then I reassembled the entire front axle Then it was time for the uh, the ball diff, which indeed has broken uh, because it probably was built for such a strong motor. Uh, so I got a stronger version of the original, which should fit as stated on the website I bought it. Uh, but I'm not going to show the assembly process as I have no idea how this goes so I had to google a manual to assemble the uh, diff this is what it looks like assembled for the most part it's basically the same part as the original one it's just not molded aluminum it's uh, it's a piece of machined aluminum which uh, should be more suitable for motor I'm running it on and I also made a custom bumper as the original one was falling apart completely and um, the bottom plate and I closed it all off Like it, this is the uh, last piece for the front axle and now there is my customized 3d printed uh, knuckles that I made so I installed those I also uh, made a custom bearing mod as the original was running on plastic pushing thingies so I got uh, the bearings from another car so that's why I had to print fitting front and rear knuckles and that's both of them installed then I added these little um, Ball head screws, I think they're called. And next up, the uh, original shocks were quite dead, mostly the, the uh, springs. So I bought this uh, new set of racing shocks, and they have multiple ways you can assemble them to get different, resu different results in damping and 
I just went with the first thing that came to my hands and I used a medium strength uh, spring which I also used for the rear axle but that was way too strong a spring so I replaced it with one of the more softer ones because there is almost no weight on the rear axle and that just makes it a bit more drivable. Also assembling these shocks took me like 10 minutes for the first one at least. Because it's kind of different from the original Tamiya parts. They have more individual pieces. Also while doing the first test drive one of them opened up slightly and the entire car was oily again. Also, if you want me to do a test drive with a camera on board, I could do that in another video. Because uh, I still have like an FPV camera uh, from another RC car. And that's the first entire piece finished. I then installed these on the front and rear axle. On from there I sadly have lost all my footage which may or may not have been deleted by accident. So here's the finished product.